like online school, online shopping, online meeting, and any other things. Even people wearing masks when they go outside. And it's not a strange thing. It's just the way how everyone survived from this era. A virus called COVID-19 has been spreading around the world since 2020. While this virus came from Wuhan, China in late 2019. Everyone have to keep in distance and most of us have to stay at home because the fewer people you're around, the lower chance of infections of COVID-19. But here's a problem. When we stay at home, we don't do something as productive as before. It's not because we're lazy. It's just hard for us to be productive in these days because we only have a small chance to socialize with everyone. According to OECD, COVID-19 pandemic has triggered the deepest recessions in nearly a century, treating health, disrupting economy activity, hurting well-being, and jobs. Extraordinary policies are required to walk the tight ropes toward recovery, which will shape the economy and social prospect of coming decade. The situation has an actual impact for the global economy, and there are some negative impacts according to the World Bank. Business might find it hard to surface that high tourist of aversions could lead to climbing borrowing costs and bankruptcies and develop a result in financial crisis in many countries. Under this downside scenario, global growth could shrink by almost 8% in 2020. The crisis highlights the need for urgent actions to cushion the pandemic health and economic consequences protect vulnerable populations and set the stage for a lasting recovery. A study by Sumner, Hoy, and Ortiz Joris in 2020, which covered 138 developing countries and 26 high-income countries, shows that COVID-19 pandemic will cause around 85 million people fall into a poverty. What about Indonesia? The World Bank in 2020 projected that Indonesia economy growth in 2020 will only reach 2.1%. In the worst scenario, it can find a drop into minus 3.5%. The figure is lower than the 2019 economic growth rate, which was only 5%. The economic shock is also predicted to prompt the emergency of new poor people. So that's a global economy conditions in COVID-19 pandemic. Now, all the things that we have to do is prevent the spreading of COVID-19. We can take some easy step precautions, such as physical distancing, wearing masks, keeping rooms well ventilated, avoiding crowds, cleaning your hands, covering into a bent elbow or tissues, and those things actually works to stop the spread of COVID-19 if we do it together so that we can heal this world from the pandemic and the world economy will be normal as it should be. So that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. I hope everyone keeping yourself safe and healthy through this challenging time in our country. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.